what do you think of when you think of Kroger? I, I think of $372. John, Barney Kroger invested his life savings of $372 in the downtown Cincinnati in a grocery store that we call Kroger today. The motto is simple, be particular, never sell anything you wouldn't want yourself. Hi, I'm Nick, up here with Dylan, Emily, David and Daniel, and today we'll be presenting Kroger. 134 years later, Kroger has grown to have over 443,000 employees spreading across 35 different states. Their goal is to become the leading in manufacturing and distribution of foods, pharmacy, health and personal care items, and other seasonal, seasonal, seasonal merchandise, as well as other related products and services. Such a big mission statement comes with six key values. Honesty, integrity, respect, diversity, safety, and inclusion. Today, we'll be going over the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, as well as a few solutions at the end. We'll start off with strengths. Kroger sits right at the top of the entire grocery store industry, not only locally here in the Cincinnati area, but also nationwide. In fact, Kroger in the Cincinnati area has a 60% market share, and just under a 16% market share across the United States. These impressive numbers show that Kroger is a very strong company, and we're gonna look at some of the strengths that make them this way, in particular, looking at various aspects of the rewards program, and by looking at Kroger's house brands. Kroger's house brands set them apart from the rest of their competitors. According to Cincinnati Inquirer, 25% of Kroger's sales are in their house brands. So it's needless to say that it's a very large and important part of the company. The house brands are made in a way that are able to compete with premium name brand products, which makes them very strong. These house brands, as you can see, there's quite a few made by Kroger. They're made by Kroger itself, which makes room for various discounts and deals to be given to the customers. These help customers stay loyal, keep them shopping with Kroger, and keep them buying Kroger's products rather than the competitors. <coughs> Whether it be for, say, a premium meal like private selection or for an organic natural meal like Simple Truth, all these different products are made to compete. Now, when there's various discounts and deals, it keeps the customers loyal. And what better way to give those discounts and deals than through the Kroger Plus Card and the Rewards Program? The Rewards Program entices customers to join by having all these different deals. Then, when customers join, they, they enjoy the discounts, they have fuel perks, and they can shop more with Kroger. Then, earning one fuel point for every dollar spent, customers quickly rack up these fuel points and use them to earn discounts on their fuel purchases. Once they're doing all these things, they're spending a lot of time shopping with Kroger. And on every single purchase, data is being collected on everything that they're buying. This happens through 8451, Kroger's data analysis company, which strives to make people's lives easier. Now, the process is very complex, but to simplify it for you, pretty much what happens is a customer buys items and they swipe their Kroger Plus card. Then, data is collected from everything that they purchase and it's sent to 8451. They then compile and analyze this data and they interpret it and send it back to Kroger to then implement in all of their stores. So as you can see, the rewards program is not only a benefit to the customers, but it's also a benefit to Kroger itself, which is why it's such a strong part of a strong company. So as you can see through these strengths, Kroger is a flourishing company, but every company has room for improvement. Today I'd like to specifically talk about the loyalty program in regards to the app and in-store promotion and also diversity throughout Kroger's executive sector. So to start off, reward programs are essential for the success of businesses. They're an easy and effective way to keep customers returning to your store. It's human nature to get fixated on points and saving money. Studies have shown that consumers are willing to spend more money than initially planned to unlock rewards. So for example, if I see I'm five dollars away from a reward, I'm more likely to pick up that bag of chips that I was debating on. Kroger's current app setup isn't conducive to allowing a customer to know how many points they have or how many points they need till the next reward. As we can see on the right here, customers have to pick, click through three pages and once they arrive at the third page, their points are just listed. They're not totaled, nor does it tell them how many points they need till the next reward. Due to this complexity, it's not immediately intuitive for customers to know how or where they can redeem these rewards. Next, Kroger does not properly promote their card within the store. As a loyal Kroger customer, when I first began shopping there, I was just handed the card. I was never explained the benefits that I received from this card, and this negatively affects sales because if customers aren't educated on the benefits they receive, they're gonna have no incentive to return to Kroger. In regards to diversity, in order for Kroger to reach their entire customer base, they need to diversify their workforce. 
Diversity can be present within age, gender, race, religious, or political beliefs, yet Kroger's executive sector does not possess all of these. While doing research, we found that four out of 15 senior management positions were held by women, and only two out of 11 board of directors were held by women. As a company who not only targets men, but also women, it is essential for them to have more women on these executive boards. It is true that men come up with ideas that women don't, but it is also true that women come up with ideas that men don't. So for example, if Kroger wanted to better understand the working mom, the stay-at-home mom, the single mom, or just women's shopping patterns in general, they wouldn't be able to do this with their current members due to the fact that men can't fully able to put themselves in women's shoes. Next, we found that only two out of the 26 executive positions were held by minorities. Considering that Kroger, just, that, considering that Kroger targets more than just white families, it, this restricts them from reaching their entire customer base. Everyone's minds function differently and think in different ways, and by having a more diverse work group, it's gonna make members' minds stretch and think outside of the box so they can better understand their peers' ideas. This may be a challenge for all parties at first, but this challenge results in the best and most well-rounded product. So after careful deliberation, our team uh, compiled three key opportunities for Kroger. Uh, click list delivery, advertising, and their mobile app. So food delivery in big cities. Kroger could pick one of the cities with the most rapid growth to test out deliveries, and I will have more data on that later. Uh, cities are concentrated areas with lots of customers, so delivery trucks would not have to travel far, so that's uh, cutting an expense. And then a large percentage of people living in those cities do not have a personal vehicle to go to the grocery store. So for example, um, New York has a 55.7% uh, of households do not have vehicles. That is a huge chunk of people. As you can see, their population is 8.5 million. You multiply that by the percentage, and that's 4.755 million people without vehicles. So they have no means besides public, public transportation to buy groceries. So this is a pretty big daunting uh, chart. I pulled it from uh, Forbes magazine. They had an article called uh, Where Educated Millennials Are Moving, and the author shows evidence, compelling evidence, uh, that the young workforce are moving into cities with much more frequency than in past in uh, past years. So the population growth, this um, this chart is taking into account people of ages 25 to 34 with a uh, bachelor's degree or more. So basically this is a, a young workforce. These people are young, busy, and in their early careers. They are more likely to be familiar with online delivery services, whereas older people uh, tend to enjoy brick and mortar stores and uh, routine. With busy lives, convenience is a top priority for them. And this is a chart of uh, Kroger's supermarkets and influence. So if you cross-reference the chart that I showed earlier with our influence, you could pick uh, the best city. Uh, advertising click list. So many of uh, customers are not even aware of click list. Uh, I took a Twitter poll of uh, 241 people and it was split completely in half. Um, I was one of the people that didn't know about it until we had a presentation about it, um, but I would have been more likely to use it had I known about it. Uh, so target a younger audience. The Twitter poll consisted of people younger than 30 years old, and expand advertising to a younger audience to reach those who are unaware of ClickList. So doing that uh, by stuff less with TV and more with internet, so YouTube ads, <laughs> Twitter, anything like that. And finally, the mobile app. So as of October 12, 2017, uh, the Kroger mobile app has 342 reviews and only two stars, which is not good for a company as big as Kroger. Uh, most negative online reviews say that they lack speed and uh, crashing uh, on mobile devices. And positive reviews, uh, like the application content as a whole, uh, consumers are generally pleased with that, which means that your major issue is with technology and not with the product that you're trying to sell. So you have the hard part done, now you just need to implement the app. So uh, my suggestion would be to improve software reliability to make it a positive experience for the customer. Okay. So being a Fortune 500 <coughs> company has its perks, but with these perks also comes threats. So the threats I will be discussing today include competition with supermarket chains around the United States, and including European supermarkets, and then direct competition with Amazon. So it is obvious that Kroger is in competition with other supermarkets in the United States. Um, 
we see that the two biggest competitors to Kroger is Walmart and Amazon. And then you can see that Walmart holds a 14.46% market share, while Amazon holds a 0.19% market share in the grocery business. Um, the Amazon 0.19% market share may not seem like a lot right now, but that is expected to increase exponentially in the next few years, and I'll explain why in just a minute. So we find that two European grocery markets coming over to the United States pose a direct threat to Kroger. Um, Aldi, who made their way over to the United States in 1976, um, currently has around 1,700 existing stores right now. And they, we see this as a threat to Kroger because they have a $3.4 billion plan to expand and open 900 new stores within the next five years. And then another German supermarket chain, Lidl, has um, a similar plan to Aldi. And they, while they only have 20 existing stores in the United States now, they do plan to expand to over 600 stores in the next five years as well. So these two um, companies have great competitive forces in Germany, and now they're bringing these competitive forces over into the United States, and this is why we see it as a threat to Kroger. So we suggest that Kroger keeps our eye on that. And then the next threat that I'm gonna discuss, and that's probably the biggest one, is Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods. Um, Amazon has acquired Whole Foods to offer lower prices on fresh produce, meat, and other ingredients from Whole Foods. Um, one of the key features is that Amazon Prime members will now have um, access to discounts at Whole Foods. So this is a threat to Kroger because now all Amazon Prime members in the United States, all 80 million of them, will now have access to cheaper and more affordable fresh ingredients from Whole Foods. Um, another threat, um, that Amazon holds is their Amazon Fresh section, and that's hold, that has a big threat to click list. Um, Amazon Fresh is a convenient and easy way to um, order fresh groceries and produce online. Um, this does hold many similarities to ClickList, but it also has many advantages over it. Uh, one of the biggest advantages that it does hold over ClickList is that customers do not have to leave their home in order to pick up their groceries. And this is extremely important because of the busy lives of the American family today. Um, the second advantage that it holds over ClickList is the out of stock option. Um, Amazon has the ability to tell you when an item is out of stock before you order it, whereas ClickList, you do not know that item is out of stock until you arrive at the store. So the big question is, how will um, Kroger um, function to fit the lives of the changing American family? And then that's where I'll go in to start talking about solutions for the threats that I've just discussed. So to deal with Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods, we suggest that Kroger um, start to see this as sort of an example. Um, we mean this by, um, our team came up with an idea of Kroger joining with another company that has skills that Kroger lacks. Um, a prime example of this is Target. Obviously this is just an idea. So the idea is that Kroger has dominated the grocery business, whereas Target isn't really there yet, but Target is very strong in, let's say, apparel, um, electronics, furniture, and stuff like that. So maybe Kroger partnering with another company to um, assist them in strengthening the skills that they lack would be a good idea. And then dealing with Amazon Fresh, we suggest that Kroger start thinking about home delivery. Um, it was mentioned in our presentation that Kroger was already thinking about this, because um, most families don't have time to go and spend two hours in the grocery store, and some families don't even have time to go pick up their groceries. So this is why we think there's no better time than now for Kroger to start thinking about conforming to the lives of busy Americans. So a solution for the out-of-stock option, as you can see, uh, two of Kroger's big competitors obviously have out-of-stock. It's very important because you don't want to order your groceries, be very particular. I know I'm very meticulous about what I want, so if I ordered very particular things and then I got there and realized that it was out of stock with the not saying on the website, that would be very frustrating for me. So a possible solution would, so at the beginning of every day, inventory is taken and put into a computer system, uh, just how when you scan it, the item pops up. Upon checkout, the number in the system automatically drops. So say you buy mac and cheese, you have 50 boxes of mac and cheese, someone checks out on click list and buys five of those. As soon as you swipe those five, it'll drop the number to 45 instead of 50. And once that number hits zero or like close to five, so there's a warning that there's not much left. Um, once
once it hits zero, the, uh, the item is automatically listed as out of stock. So in regards to the app, we recommend putting the most pertinent information on the first page, and we created, kind of created like a prototype. So it has the customer's points, how many points they need to go, so they're informed about that. It also has, um, as you can see in the lower left, a redeem feature. So this can allow customers to redeem their points where and when they want. So if they like want to save them up for one purchase or if they want to spend them that day, they're allowed to. Also an icon to click on to better explain the rewards program so if they don't understand how they earn points, how many points they need for their rewards and what their rewards go to, this can explain it. And then finally at the top, it would have their Kroger Plus card so they can just pull out their app, swipe their card, <coughs> or swipe their phone. They don't have to dig through for their um, keychain or card or go through the app through the three pages to get to their card. So in order to maximize uh, the changes in the app in Kroger's reward system, they need to uh, promote it more throughout the store. So we recommend um, strategically placing monitors around the store with a continuous loop of videos. And these videos may include what the rewards program is, how they earn points, um, maybe a tutorial on how to navigate the app so customers better understand the program so when they go to use the card, they know what it's going for. And then finally, um, these videos should be played in multiple languages so Kroger is reaching their entire customer. That concludes our flow analysis for Kroger. Um, thank you for coming today, and thank you for letting us tour your distribution center. This time we'll take questions with our entire group of people.
like turned off, but then it's not like appealing to our area because that's not like somewhere that is being targeted. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, can I make a couple comments? Uh, I think you all did a great job. The pre presenters were great. Uh, you hardly looked at your notes, and uh, you could tell you had a great conviction to that. Um, I think you made some really good points. Getting back to the diversity, I think the diversity is is very important, and um, we do have some flaws in our company as far as the uh, senior leadership of that. Uh, so I'm glad you called that out on us. Um, as far as competition, I'm actually surprised no one mentioned uh, the biggest competitor we have is the restaurants. And uh, if you think about food dollars, um, it's not just uh, you know brick and mortar. It is. You know the, the freshes and the gold corrals and the gold stars it's it's all those so those are all part of the food dollars um but so we're competing against them as well uh, great points on the click list we do have a couple stores that are testing uh delivery uh, in our in the cincinnati area and other divisions there are some i think we're going to expand cincinnati another five more stores i think in the next couple weeks or if they haven't already i'm retired so i don't know everything <laughs> They opened a pilot in the Ralph's division in California for home delivery as yeah. of last week. Of course, it's going to be very difficult for you guys to get that information, yeah. but that did happen. Yeah, yeah um, just like on the whole um, competing with restaurants thing, I think the home delivery really speaks to that because a lot of time people eat fast food just because it's convenient and you don't actually have to go in a oh, grocery store. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you think about you think about the commercials you see right now. You see, <coughs> you see going the five dollar fill up. You see. Uh, Gold Star having a five dollar meal, and everybody has a five dollar meal, and they've got a drive through window. And Kroger probably someday needs to do that where there's a quick and easy come in the store or go through a drive through. We got it in pharmacy, we got it in banks. Why can't we do it with food? And I, I don't know. I mean, you can't just invest a bunch of capital without really, uh, it's, a, it's a big, um, it's a big roll of dice to do that. Uh, it's millions and millions of dollars. And then, um, lastly, on the um, and just to point out that Amazon and Walmart have a different distribution system than we do. So Amazon has fulfillment centers that they can pull from. They have one spot where they know it's in and out. We've got 2,800 stores, and, and then the ones that have the actual click list, I think we've got 700, soon to be 900. Um, and it, it is difficult. Uh, I mean, you're right, we need to do it. If it's out of stock, we need to know it. We do have a system that allows us to see if it's out of stock, but there's so much product going in and out at any given time, it could be out of stock at 11 o'clock at night and then at midnight it's filled back in again. So it's a little bit tougher than a fulfillment center, but that doesn't make it right. You guys are just spot on what you said. It's just, I'm giving you an excuse, but it's really not a good excuse. So <laughs> we, we just, we need to work through that as a company. So great job, you guys. I just want to add that you guys' uh, presentation uh, was, I thought, rich in quality, uh, especially with the stuff that we did not give you. And you all did an 